Right, it's Friday again, little update. What have we been up to? Right, we have got the G4. We have taken off the old steps, which were all rusty, and we've, we've fitted these new side tubes here. We've cleaned up everything underneath. Gary's painted all in the wheel arches here and the seals will have a look at the other side. We fitted the new rear hub there, Disco 4 brakes now. We're looking at the rear brake conversion. We're going to have a look at that. Um, we fitted these new super, super strong side seal tubes and we'll do a video on this. Um, so these replace your plastic seals completely. These are quite something, aren't they? Um, certainly the old steps have caused some corrosion and stuff and they're looking, they're not lasting as well. So that's a pretty neat upgrade. We'll get those on the website. Should have cleaned it up, right? We've got all the seats out the inside, haven't we, Gary? We've started to clean up the inside, but we've got it all dirty again. But we're starting to work on stuff in there. We'll get all that clean. Need to find some Disco 4 seats to put in it. Right, what else have we done? What else have we done? We've got all the lush Frembos on the front. That all went really well, actually. We've done the video for that. We got all that sorted. What? This is something young Callum and Julie have been working on. So on the new Defender, they do an anti-reflective bonnet graphic. So we've um, we've been working on our own version for the Discovery 3 and 4. Um, so let us know if you're interested in that. We'll try and get that on the website. So it'll be a self-adhesive panel you can stick over there. I don't think we'll fit it on this one because I want the, the G4 sticker on it. But we like the stickers. Right. What else have we been doing? What else have we been doing? Come this way, come this way, Darren. So, we'll do a separate video on this, but this, just to show you, is the electronic handbrake. So, this is what they do. So, this has a motor on the back of the hydraulics that we've got a little bit of wood in there that clamps clamps this. And it's quite clever, the way it works. We've, we've got it all set up here. I've been trying to work this out. But basically, to undo the, to release the handbrake, you connect the one way, and it spins the motor like so. And then, if you spin, it, connect the voltage, swap the battery voltage over, and it, and you can hear it squeeze when it gets to the caliper. You can hear, um, but that's super large. If I can get this fitted to the older disco and sport, I mean, we don't need that whole handbrake thing under the back that all gets clogged up. So we'll have a look at that. We got some new speakers to fit in the smart car. We we'll have to. We need to. We need to turn it into a sonic cathedral of sound. <laughs> we need to rag it up and down the high street, Gary. Right. What else have we been up to? I've got some. I've got some new products. Let's have a look at these new products. I haven't looked at these yet. Have a look. What we've got in here, Gary. Apparently, hot off the press. This is. Actually, I tell you, out with the design of this, Gary. Like yeah, we're going way back, yeah. Going way back. It takes a while to get these things made. Right. Of course, like my, what are they calling? They call the unboxing video, isn't it? Yeah. What have we got? Oh. They look quite nice, actually. They look quite nice, actually, don't they? So this is oh look there's a hole there waiting for it like i can model it <laughs> look that is going to go in there right, we're, gonna, we're gonna have those these are our new this uh this go freelander 2 smoked rear lights look see so so we've taken the 2012 design and we've changed all the colors about to make it look a bit more a bit more cool so we gotta get they look, they look good, actually. They look yeah. good, don't they? I'm happy with them. So we'll have those on the website. I got, we got a load of those in, right? And that was one of our designs. Yeah, Gary helped with that. And then this one here should be the same thing for the Evoke, which again we we specced out and had made for us. So look at that. That's the late type Evoke light in black. I think it just. I think a bit of chrome's all right. You don't mm. want it. You want it to look like you just sprayed it with a can. Yeah. I think it. I think that'll be all right. So look out for those coming on the video next. On right. Let's go outside and have a look what's going on outside. I'm trying to think what else we're doing on the. Yeah. So there's the there's the. I actually show them what you did on the seals here, Gary, because that's quite good. So 
after we'd taken off all the all the old plastic seal cover and the old side steps, Gary's cleaned all that and painted that all up. So that's what it looks like. You'll see that when we do this side tube video. But yeah, you've done a good job on that, Gary. Right, what else are we on? Let's have a look outside. Oh, we've got that subframe, haven't we? We fix the fence. Look at that. <laughs> what a job. It's not perfect. We're getting a new fence fitted, but we just put that back up. Right. And this down again is feeling no love, but he gets used all the time. You have to go and pick this up. So this is a Range Rover Sport complete rear subframe. So you'll see it's got all the, the shock absorbers. It's got the, this is your gas struts here. It's got the brakes missing. Um, what I need it for is I've got an e-diff error. So this is your electronic actuator that locks your diff and mine is playing up. And it was cheaper for me to buy this whole subframe. It was local on eBay, 250 quid. Got a whole shooting there. I thought, well, I might as well do that. Um, so I went to collect that, but I've stolen the, the wiring connectors off here for our conversion for the electronic brake actuator. And there'll be some other bits on there. So we got that, and of course, look at this, look at this. Oh, let's go. Look at those gas struts, Gary. <laughs> I bought some base boxes. Apparently this is the, you haven't seen these? Nope. This is the factory fit base box, but look, I, I don't get some companies. Hold on, let me show you this. How come one of them comes in that box that size, right? And the other one comes in a box that size. So I thought this one's gonna be massive, but it doesn't seem to be any bigger. It might be a bit bigger, let's have a look. That's, that's the one size, and that's the Oh. <laughs> I suppose it's a bit bigger. I think mm. they got a bit carried away with the box. But apparently this is going to make this rock, Gary. Okay. Are you, all your mates are going to be eating their heart out. <laughs> when I pull up the KFC car park, they're going to be worshipping me. So we've got to get those speakers in there. Right, that's it. What are we doing next week, Gary? Um, we've got to try and get that. I keep saying I'm going to do that cam belt, don't I? I'm going to get that. try and get that Discovery 3 through the MOT if we can. Yeah. But I think I might be open a bit. But there we go. Oh! big thank you thank you to everyone we've had our best ever day in february our best ever week in february and our best ever sales month in february so thumbs up and thank you very much for that really appreciate you guys buying stuff from us okay good luck